Have you been with a narcissist that's brought you back or gotten back with you or hoovered you? A lot of times we've done videos about narcissists hoovering or sucking you back into that toxic relationship, but sometimes the question is posed of why? Why are they actually doing it? What is the reason why? Well, I want to dive into today seven reasons why a narcissist hoovers you why they try to come back into your life, why they try to get you sucked back into that toxic relationship, and a couple reasons why. If you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist on this channel to provide awareness, growth, healing, and change. We do that on all different platforms by dropping small nuggets of truth. So if you don't follow already, look at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn to be able to see some of the videos that we post on a day-to-day -day basis. YouTube, we're dropping longer videos every single day at 11 and 4 p.m. Eastern time. would love to be able to have you engage with the podcast, not just the Raw Motivations podcast, but a new one that we have coming up called Trauma, Drama, and Life. It's where I sit down with my wife, Kayla, and we actually discuss some of our past, some of the pitfalls of being in a relationship with a narcissist, of going to counseling, of doing all these different things that I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried or have experienced. So feel free to check that out on Apple Podcasts. It's called Trauma, Drama, and Life. If you want to interact with me or talk through some of the stuff that you're going through, I work with people to help them break out of a trauma bond, to be able to work through the aspect of, hey, and I know in my head that this person is toxic and I shouldn't be with them, but I still want to be with them. So I help people to rewire their mindset, to break free from that toxicity and actually work through the rumination piece and try to help people become healthy, happy, and healed as they move forward, setting boundaries so they don't go back with the narcissist and so they don't get with someone down the road that's toxic as well. I'd love to be able to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I do coaching to try to help people out of the relationships, through the, through the exit strategy, and also if they've been free for a while to rewire that mindset. You can go to rawmotivations.com, click on the one-on-ones. We'd love to interact with you there. Last thing I wanted to talk about is the NARC app. If you haven't had a chance to download it, go to narcapp.com, N-A-R-C-A-P-P, narcapp.com, and it stands for Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Community. It's a community of like-minded people to help spread that awareness, growth, and change. You can go in there, you can take courses, you can track your no contact, you can record your truth, you can interact with a lot of other survivors on the app that are there to help encourage and support you. So when you're struggling, you can ask for advice. You can get advice on specific situations. You can help with the no contact of like, I feel like I'm going to break it. And you, all those different things can be done inside the app to help you progress and move forward. Also, we have weekly lives where we answer specific questions that you ask throughout the week. And we engage in different activities to help you continue that growth process. Every month, we're bringing in coaches from around the globe to be able to help you expand your capacity and your mindset as you continue to move forward and get away from the narcissist and start focusing on you as you start to heal and grow and change. Anyways, that's all I got. So why does a narcissist hoover? Why would they come back? Because oftentimes it seems like they're done, right? It seems like they discarded you, they left you, they smeared you, all that kind of stuff. Why would they even come back? Lots of people are like, no, it's the final discard. I know it is. And then they call me back six months later and like, you're right. They came back. They reverse hoovered me. They hoovered me. They walked into my life, all different types of things. And you can't put a time limit on it. Sometimes you think, well, it's been six months. They haven't contacted me. I must be safe. Like, whew. No. Okay. I've talked to people that have been two weeks, two months, two years, 20 years that the narcissist has come back into their life in some form or another to try to hoover them, to try to mess with them. But the big question is not of them coming back in. I have lots of videos on that, block, ghost, go no contact. That responsibility is on you, not on the narcissist. Okay, they didn't care about you in the relationship, they're not gonna care about you after. Guard yourself, block, make sure they can't contact you. Okay, period, side note, watch any of those videos there. Anyways, why does the narcissist hoover? Okay, why? So we're gonna dive into seven of them. First one, a lot of times they hoover because they ran out of supply and they need something from you. Sometimes this is the aspect of the supply that they were with broke up with them. Maybe they lost that person. Maybe they got discarded, anything like that. And they're like, I need something now. I need supply. Now, sometimes this gets confusing because the narcissist will still reach out and hoover you while they're with supply. That's because with those people, a lot of times one supply is not enough. 
and they have to keep adding to people on the shelf that they can reach back in, pull off the shelf, tap whenever they want, and get whatever they want from that person. Typically, when a, per when a narcissist is running out of supply, they're looking for someone else to meet their needs. Maybe to take care of them, to give them money, to you know have a place to crash, or just to be able to get sex from that person. Whatever it might be, a lot of times a narcissist will hoover you back when they run out of supply. Number two is sometimes they hoover you back because they're envious of you and they want to tear you down. You see, some people get out of the narcissistic relationship and they start to glow up. They start to look great. They start to process a lot of things. They start to excel in business and relationships and family, all these things because they no longer have that toxicity on them. And then that person looks back, the narcissist looks back and they're like, wait a second. Like you're, you're getting higher up there. You're getting more established in business. You're getting wealthier. You're looking better. All these type of things. I'm going to come back into your life and tear you down because I don't like how that makes me feel. I don't like how it looks that I'm not better than you. So I'm going to come back into your life and destroy you. Third reason, a lot of times the narcissist will come back into your life in Hoover because they're bored. And that's a sad illustration, a sad reason, but a lot of times they're bored and they're like, let me find someone else that I can mess with. Well, I have this past person. I have these litany of past people. Let me go try to tap on one of them and see if I can get something out of them or create a reaction or I'm content with where I am right now. Let me just go blow something else up. Like that's what happens a lot of times is they'll get bored and they want to add more to the list of the people that they're going to control. Maybe they feel like they don't have enough supply in their life. Maybe it's not enough. So it's let me go back blow some stuff up, see what happens, shake the tree, get some reactions, get a little supply from all that, and then go back doing whatever else I am. A lot of times it's boredom. Sometimes the narcissist number four wants the Hoover because they want a challenge. You'd be like, why? Like, that's crazy. Like, go climb a mountain or something. Well, a challenge to be able to manipulate another person. A challenge to be able to control another person. And so a lot of times you'll see a narcissist that comes back into your life specifically to try to break down your boundaries. Maybe you said you didn't want to have sex before marriage, or maybe you said you didn't want to go on this trip with that person, or maybe you said that you didn't want to move out of the town of with their families and whatever it might be. And they come back in, they're like, please marry me. And then you're like, oh my gosh. And then they get exactly what you didn't want them to do. They'll come back in to be able to break your boundaries. And it's not just enough for the narcissist to come in and, and break your boundaries or break through them, but if they can have you break them, that's a bigger high. Can I get you back just to see what's going on, just to see if it's possible? Maybe I want to brag or maybe I want to prove in my own head you still want me because the challenge was to break down your boundaries and you're still back with me, so therefore I must be the catch. That's like the narcissistic thinking, okay? Other one, number five, validation. To know that someone cares and someone loves me, okay? Now, it might seem like kind of like skewed because everybody's like, oh, narcissists are in love with themselves. No, they're in love with the mask. And so if they can get someone else to come in and validate that mask and make them feel better about themselves, make them feel better about the image that they're putting out there, a lot of times they'll do that. Maybe they're looking for emotional support, physical, or just financial, whatever it might be. Let me go ahead and see who's in my life that I can tap for that type of validation. Now, when I was doing this, one of the people suggested, they were like, I think sometimes they come back into your life to steal your light or because you're such an amazing person. And I had to put this on the list, not because I believe it's true, but because I don't think it's true. And I think we need to look at it really quick. For a narcissist coming back into your life thinking, hmm, this person has something I want. They have empathy. They have love. They have care. They have kindness. I want that in my life. It doesn't really happen. You don't really have a narcissist that's coming back to steal your light because they don't really care about whatever light you have. A lot of times the narcissist is coming back in your life to manipulate and control, but not because you've got something that they actually want. They might have something, you might have something that they want to apply on their mask, but nothing they're going to internalize. Okay. Other two, other reason that they have for coming back into your life. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, vindictive. A lot of times they come back for the vindiction. So they just want to get revenge on you. They want to make you hurt. Maybe because you actually left them and you're like, I'm done with this toxic person. And they're like discarded. And they're like, wait a second. I got to figure out how to get back at this person. And we see a lot of times a narcissist will be really vindictive to come back. Now I'm talking even to like the level of like come back, court, date, 
get with someone. I don't even know why I said court. Sorry. Get back with someone, sleep with someone, or get ready to sleep with someone and then walk out. Like these are real life examples of people that have come back. The narcissist has come back into that person's life. Literally, narcissist came back into the person's life. And they got together and got ready to go upstairs, get in bed, and he walks out. Never heard from him again. Because the goal was to be vindictive and to hurt the other person. A lot of times you have a narcissist that will hoover back to be able to destroy you even more. One thing that I wanted to say is like a lot of times it feels like that narcissist knows that you're doing better, right? Like you just start to get your head above water. You just start to work on a couple things. You're like, I'm finally getting free. And they're like, hey, back in your life. Well, it's because narcissists oftentimes have a sixth sense of when to come back in. It's almost like they know when to come back in. Sometimes they know because they're used to your cycles. They're used to how you interact. They're used to the time frame, and they've gotten used to it internally, mentally, emotionally, of when would be a good time to come back into your life. That's why you have to make sure that you're the one that blocks, that you're the one that keeps up all the Hoover protection to keep you safe from that toxic person because you never know when they're going to come back into your life. Oftentimes, when you feel like you're doing the best ever, you'll see them pop up. The real test is when they pop up, how do you handle them? How do you make sure that there's not a way for them to pop up? How do you make sure that there's not a way for them to contact you or run into you to be able to take anything you can to have that high protection so that you keep away from being hoovered? <music>